So this is the <laughs> mini so that we spinny so that we're talking about that we would do uh, in the actual episode of yes. a reading for me. Uh, and so we're gonna use your we're gonna use the um, flower therapy deck that I showed in the episode. Mm -hmm. So this is a wonderful deck that just got uh, its cherry pop today online. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> in true fashion of uh, nature and fairies and all that. It's a beautiful deck representing so, all types of qualities that flowers qualities. bring. Yeah. So I thought uh, one of the things that the inspiration that just came through was to offer. Dwayne um, a wonderful mini reading mm -hmm. to sort of whatever question that he wants to have answered right and see what comes through and you and these are using techniques of um, intuit intuiting and also what um, you know what I get from the cards so I mean I do do work that is quite intuitive as well so I right. just feel I go with what comes to me and if it resonates with you you know great and if it doesn't then you know it might resonate at some point Right. Yeah. I already have helpful. an idea of what I want to ask. And I'll share it with everyone, of course. Yeah. Um, you know, when Stephanie first walked into my room, she said she could feel like this was a very huge creative center for me. And she's right. I mean, I have tons of ideas, especially more mm -hmm. so recently because I have two channels running. These ideas are just in this room and they're kind of like, kind of like, um, it's overwhelming a little mm -hmm. bit. And that's how I've been feeling. So I guess my question would be towards that on in terms of um yeah just it's not a particular question but just what about this um mm. what what about i guess it is a question what about this can i do what is the answer you know um about the, the cluttering and how to clarify and to simplify and mm. to hone and focus in a little bit more okay clarify simplify hone in focus because you're because you're wanting to have all these ideas come to fruition right yes I mean some of them are but this is just like it's always just a big in my head it's such a big mess it's such a mm. sometimes I don't yes sometimes I don't know the best way for it to come into fruition even though it is coming to fruition because mm, mm -hmm. it's cluttered with all these other ideas or you know and I get worried I'm like what if I'm not doing it right what if I'm you know so yeah. yeah that would be my I'm I'm sort of getting I mean and this is before the cards as well but mm. I'm I'm getting the word trust is big mm. is big for you um do you find it hard to trust <laughs> mm. like sometimes trusting, sometimes like, say, the, collaborators the flow or the f more so more so collaborators I would mm. say mm -hmm. um but trusting the flow I don't particularly have an issue with it. I think I just, I just go with it, and then mm. if it's not right, sometimes I just take a step back. I'm not usually rushing it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just that I have so much going on at the moment. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know which to focus on. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. With that, we just intend for the highest and best right now to assist you with the next step. Yeah. The natural next step for you. I think it's it's all well and good sometimes having a vision, but also to know what to do next is crucial. Yeah, <laughs> you absolutely. can't jump ahead. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh wow, this this card is coming up a lot today. Oh wow. So, it, this is the second this time is, we've seen yeah, it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Out of so many cards. Out of so many cards, this is to pop up. I think it's like forty four cards or something. So, okay, and some of you watching this, you. you it's also obviously for you, if you're watching this, then you resonate with some part of what he's saying and also what this card represents. So I'm feeling with this card that, that it's got to do a lot with, yeah, there's a lot of creative energy. There's a lot of desires that you have. Mm -hmm. If you align it, I mean, and there's also a lot of heart, a mm. lot of heart in what you do. So there is this sense that there is a lot of, wait, hang on, let me just check in with this for checking with myself because sometimes I've got to center myself as well right hmm okay what do you get from this I'm no, just curious says, sort of go so it yeah. says your soul carries ancient wisdom you read this out just now mm -hmm. right your soul carries ancient wisdom please embrace it as you have the knowledge to help those around you um so what are you guys getting from it mm. and what am I getting from it <laughs> um so it's reminding me, like I think what you said about trust, I think it's reminding me that that 
I do. I mean, I do feel like I have a lot of things to say in terms of these creative ideas, right? So that part, I guess, um, is hopefully the knowledge to help those. Because my intention is to help, and it's to help with the experiences that I've been through, so that in my writing, it hopefully reaches out to help people. So, so that's a reminder that I do have the knowledge, which is nice. Um, embrace it. Embrace it more, I guess. My soul carries the ancient wisdom. Please embrace it. I guess that's part of the trusting to just embrace mm. what I have and to. What I'm, do you see? I'm feeling. Um, I'm definitely feeling like sometimes my body shows me things, so I, I mm. get signs in my body that relates to what you're going through. So I'm feeling a lot of the creative energy within this, like say for the stomach area, which is quite normal because we have like the if you know chakras. Yeah, yeah. This is where like the sacral chakra lies, which is the seat of creativity. And it's also where the sexual drive comes from. It's the red from. one, right? It's the, it's orange, the orange, or orange one. one. It's the orange one. And it's sort of, there's there's almost like some, yeah, I'm sensing a lot of energy there with relations to aligning, aligning that with the heart. Hmm. The heart. There's, actually, it's very simple. It's like, if you just focus on what is going to be the next best thing for your viewers with mm. regards to what you are what your message is have right. you clarified what your message is for this channel mm. not not really mm. it's to me it's just wellness and anyone okay. that can contribute to that yeah so it's oh. i mean it's, re it's yeah it's really about what you're doing it for that's mm. going to make your options narrow down a little bit right because i mean i think like you were talking about intentions mm -hmm. earlier because we, we can't do everything at once, right? We can't. Right, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm like that too. I'm, I'm like wanting to do five, six, seven different projects at the same time. Right. But it feels like if if you're doing this, I mean, we're, we're all doing it for ourselves too. Yeah. You know, you're doing this for yeah. yourself as well. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if you align with what the message of doing these, you know, in this pocket of time, mm -hmm. okay, this pocket of time that you're alive, that you're contributing to your own wellness, to your own focus, to your own abundance as well. You're creating something for yourself, but you're but it, but what what is that for yourself? What do you, we you know what what is at the core of why you are doing this? Hmm, a little bit more. Right? I think now. I mean, I guess it's still general for me. It's like I, I'm doing it for myself because. I feel the need to help make the world a better place so that I can live in a better place. Mm, okay. And what does that better place look like? Um, all the things that, some of the things that we talk about this episode too, like in every episode there's always something I try to go to be, a, uh, you know, be a bit more meaningful about things. So in this episode it was about, it was about everybody sort of healing. Mm. And I feel that if everybody took that step to heal, they would be more clear and they would have more empathy and it would change the world mm. step by step so that's great you see i mean that when you have that clarity if you have that as what you're creating mm -hmm. so all these other things that you want to do if you if you keep reminding yourself that that's what you're going for and that's how you right. it can be as simple as okay so i'm helping to heal heal the world for example i'm helping right. to and use all those words clarity empathy things like that so those are your keywords okay those that's always what you're going for okay so this video or this next episode this next project does this represent those qualities okay that's a yeah that's those so those are does the it, will this bring about clarity for myself and for those watching will this bring about empathy mm. a greater sense of empathy for you know for myself and also for those watching is this going to have i intend to have that outcome yeah so you can do that and then just let it, you know, you'll, you'll see that other things that, okay, maybe not quite yet now. Right, or sometimes right. you have to go through different things in your life before you're ready to, for those things to come in. True. The other thing I got for you, which was the help, get help. Like get help is in the people to help you. Right. So it may come a point where if you do have quite a lot of projects going on, you will want to have a second person helping you to run around a little bit. And I have a feeling that with the trusting you know um and this is something that we all we may we may go through um is that there have been times in our lives where things have really happened that have shaken our ability to trust ourselves yeah uh and to trust other people or to trust ourselves with other people other people with us right you know there's 
it wasn't safe or you know in the case of like if, if there was child abuse for example you know there's a breaking of, of a very core necessity of, um, of of being able to trust that that person you know whether it's mom or dad or whomever yeah. and that creates a lot of self-doubt right a lot of like second guessing and and the only real way to get out of that and it, although it takes a long time which I mean, I've used a lot of techniques that help to kind of release the trauma from the cells, mm -hmm. mm. you know, um, from, from the energetic structures in the mind and all that. But what really kind of helps you simply is to, to sort of say, despite this, and, and, I, and I thank my friend this for, because I actually went for a healing yesterday myself, oh. <laughs> this wonderful healer called Scarlet CP, who might be watching this at some point. Um, and she says, you know, one of the things that was really useful was to, to know that no matter what happens in your life, it doesn't take away from who you are. Okay, no, it adds to it. It, it should, adds right? to it, yeah. yeah. And that you, you can be powerful despite what has happened. Mm. So it's like it can strengthen you, right? Some people change it around, it becomes a strength. Yeah, yeah, all of, all actually, I would say now from the position I'm looking at it from uh, all of the stuff that was challenging to me has strengthened me and I'm I'm I used to be bitter about it but now I'm I'm just more thankful than anything I don't blame anymore which is which is that which is which is which is a which is a, a testament to, to to myself that mm -hmm. I I take that responsibility now you know which is which is very powerful it's it's more powerful to have that control and to take the responsibility because it because that means you are in control rather than try to control but that's really that you're not in control so yeah yeah I mean also the word that jumped up for this one was the knowledge the knowledge that you already have within you so there's mm. a lot of a lot of amazing things that you are meant to do right so follow the signs like if you're if you're meant if you feel the urge to work with someone on on an aspect of what you're doing to help you focus on whatever other aspects you can do because that kind of takes the load off a little bit yeah you know i mean you may sometimes it may be that you have to work through some previous energy with that person you know um to but talk it out you know talk it out if if say something has been challenging or, or that person i mean we we do have like what's this called like previous karma or something with people sometimes yeah <laughs> um we just it just comes up if we work closely together um but work through that first, perhaps. Thank if you, you. That to. was valuable. It actually speaks to me a certain way. Mm. Yeah. Okay, great, great, great. So, I mean, he is a wise soul. Isn't he not? I don't know. <laughs> he's an amazing wise soul who has such courage, such guts to keep going, you know, and, and things are happening. And I think, you know, there's this space just to acknowledge, you know, whoever is watching this as well, this is for you too. We put ourselves in a position sometimes when we feel like we don't know enough to move forward. Mm. But that's just simply not the case. <laughs> if you feel that urge to move forward, it means that you are ready yeah. and that you will find it along the way. And it may be a struggle at first because it's just something new. Everything you do the first time is going to be a little bit clumsy anyway. Just like how you were telling that's me That's how today. you learn. That's how you learn. Yeah. Words from another wise soul. Yeah. <laughs> Thank it's also you. reflecting back to me. Yeah. Um, and so uh, one of the things I wanted to do now was to use what I call the soul soul song, which is actually just a reconnection to the inner part of you that already knows what to do. And um, it's really to bring that sensation forward, it's to bring that sensation into um, something more tangible. So by a sound or it's just, this, this is actually really just from what I've learned to what I've practiced to be able to tune into the essence of that person that would best help them right now. Right. So I'm going to do that for you. That's so exciting. How do I receive this? Do I, do okay. I look at you there? So all you or? do, you can close your eyes. Okay. It's fine. Okay. And I'm just going to be making all sorts of sounds, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but the intention really is here... Um, is that I offer my voice up, my beingness, my ability to amplify positive vibration aligned with now your purpose mm -hmm. for through this process of transition, you know, to assist you that you already know. So I feel like it's amplifying the qualities of clarity in you. Okay. 
amplifying the qualities I feel like you have a lot of empathy but I feel the the ability to also ex- trust mm. yeah the ability to trust where that is leading you right now and also I get the word somehow forgiveness I feel mm. the ability to forgiveness really just means letting go it really just means saying that happened or you know but I'm I'm okay with it and yeah. I I let it go I free myself from it I give it no more importance than anything else yeah and I'm free and I can choose now I can have a different experience so somehow that that felt like it was right for you as well yeah no, that, so, that makes sense and forgiveness is also something you do for yourself for more yourself. than anyone else yes. right because you carry it with you yeah. nobody nobody knows yeah in fact you're the only one that's kind of harming yourself yeah. if, you, if you, don't <laughs> you don't forgive, forgive someone forgive or forgive something or forgive yourself as well yeah for not being say something that you want yeah because it's a process we already have it it's just that it's it takes time to experience so okay with that just receive okay. and i will just let the tones come through mm-hmm. So these tones are for alignment right now. So this is receiving of information. A lot of feels like there's a lot of um, energy in the mind space, the inner mind here. So it's almost like sensing where the energy is now. So this is where you've been working from. You've been working from this space um, which represents the ability for you to receive information. So you've actually been pulling in a lot of a lot of um, new ideas. It's, it's kind of like when you, you're like a funnel. So it's coming through mm. you. But now it, you, want it to, you want it to ground a lot more. You want it to align with, with the material aspects. You want it to align with support. You want it to align with the fuel, the fire in your body right now. So I want you to mm. breathe and just really feel that that whether it's energy or light coming through the top of your head, I want you to feel that it's just trickling in, it's going down, it's coming in, right? There's a little bit of, it feels like it's trying to do its best a little bit, going down, down the body, but just say, okay, I'm ready now. I'm ready for the next step. Just check with yourself if you feel that that's something that, that you you can say I'm ready for the next step does that feel all right I am ready for the next step yeah okay So what I'm seeing psychically is I'm seeing like this big flower opening up and it's almost like it's building this vessel around you in order to collect or receive say it could be material resources um it could be um it's almost like the light is liquefying so it's becoming wow. more solid so it's not as light as air mm. but it's a little it's still moving it's still movable so that means like your creations and all that it's more solid but it's still fluid it's still flexible okay so i'm just sensing that's what i'm feeling like because the sound also the thing about sound is that it can create sound creates Um like for example when you say something I want that you're creating it you know you're asking it to come into being the sound also is a wave it's a wave which can become particles so like electrons go between being a particle and a wave so when it becomes a particle it becomes a thing it becomes right. more solid so when you use sound with um together with your intention you are it's almost like you can create mm-hmm. the structures energetically which then will fill into say the material. Yes. Yeah. So I want you to feel that, that as if it's it's all coming now right into the belly if you can imagine breathing 
And this is all just kind of, it's like the roots are growing up from the belly. But I think we want to go deeper than that. We want to anchor you even more into the earth. Because the earth is this infinite resource, you know, mm-hmm. the soil. You know, where are you planting the seeds now? You know, they've already, you've already planted them. They're growing now. But, you know, how's the root system doing? Mm. You know, is there enough minerals there where you're planting it? You know, do, do your roots need to go deeper? Probably not, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, do they... D- and where are the roots going as well? Mm. You know, where... Are, because they're trying to find the minerals. They're trying to find where you need to anchor. So just imagine that you're sending your roots down now. You're sending it down and you're... And you're intending, okay, roots. Roots, which means my foundation, my ability to... To, to connect to other networks as well. Mm-hmm. You know, like what they say, a, f- a forest is just one tree. Yeah. You know, so you're connecting to other, to networks which would nourish you as well. You know, you're you're spreading out. And this translates also, since you're using the online medium, into, say, particular points that can spread out. You know, if it's a, a connection that is, is like a branch of a tree that connects to so many other ones, right. that you're being connected to that based on your intention right now. Right. Okay. I th- and I think it's slowly I see it slowly working I mean maybe this is part of my mm. connection to creative to creative collaborators mm. as well yeah actually it feels actually that's very that's pretty spot on because you when you connect with the key collaborators that can help grow mutually mm. your networks um, that's perfect yeah, so I kind of fell that's into perfect. it not even knowing that these <laughs> it's what th- that 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 I immediately I don't know if, if you play back to exactly when you first sang something mm. or spoke yeah. there was an immediate lull the same thing that Crystal Bowles does to me I was amazed mm. that a human voice could do it but it was <laughs> made, this, I felt this funnel right through and just clear everything so <laughs> but, and then when you did the whole clearing in terms of allowing you were saying how allow creativity to like a liquid like just flowing through it it was clear already from the first thing and then so that allowed me to yeah. so it was pretty amazing that's yeah. wonderful i mean i i've had readers tell me before and this is actually a confirmation again of my next chapter of my journey um which is the crystal quality mm. uh, because i don't know if you've read about you know certain children have different qualities like the crystal children yep. yes, and I the have. indigo children yep. so i was told from the very beginning that i actually have that crystal um, child aspect wow. that I came one of the earlier ones right, uh, right. in the 80s you know <laughs> highly sensitive we tend to amplify everything around us so it's good and bad because if we're in a negative it's always space two, it's two sides to everything it's, right? it's, it's sometimes it's tough yeah. yeah but if if we can amplify you know like for example other crystal children that would be great I mean I'll probably be doing healings to do with that aspect um, but right now we're not done with there's a little bit left to okay. do which is since the dolphins have been coming up for you, mm-hmm. so we're gonna have a little bit of a dolphin sound okay. time just to kind of because now what you've done is that you've cleared the space, mm-hmm. you're aligned, you're you're having it flower and open up, and you're also connected. Now, if we like to put some momentum in, okay. So the dolphins represent fun, joy, playfulness, mm-hmm. and collaboration. They work as a team. Mm. You know, they uh, they do everything as a team. Usually, they have they each roles. So this will also help you define what roles you need to play. Ah, okay. And people that will play different roles so that you can clarify that, make it very clear. It may change, but you know, for the time being, right, just you framework. can clarify those roles to kind of maximize on your energy levels. You're not wearing yourself too thin. And for those of you, this kind of actually goes out to everybody now. So um, this section is actually just to help with exactly what we said just now and if you find yourself in a position where you do need to add more fun and play into your life and momentum um, and and feeling more clear about your role in life as well as the roles that you play in other aspects and making that clear so that your energy is not being drained Mm. you know um, that's a good indicator when you feel drained that's that's where you're putting it some you're using it wrongly right yeah 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 you're misaligned somehow yeah okay so here come the dolphins and uh, one thing that I didn't quite mention in the video with you earlier was uh, that when we when we connected to the dolphin energy during for, for sound we actually are able to access their frequencies with as much as our voice can handle so mm. we actually do sound a bit like dolphins when we do it wow. with the dolphin uh, 
connection. Oh, wow. So be ready. Okay. okay. So I don't know if you need to turn down the volume <laughs> a little bit. It can get a little bit loud, a little bit sort of like, you know, something you hear in I'll a, turn it down a sci-fi bit here. movie a little bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, the fact that you're with us at this time means that you're ready for it. So let's going to go for it. So this is some um, intuitive sound with a dolphin energy for joy, abundance, movement, flow, play, and yeah, roles. Enjoying your role. Okay. okay. Ah, so we're going to start with the ocean energy a little bit first. Hmm. Interesting. Emotions. Calming the emotions, calming the, the currents, the waves, being in the flow. Ah, that's what it is, but being in the flow. Yeah. Well, the whale energy too. The whales have more of a, they're like the record keepers of the planet, so they wisdom as well. actually working through some deeper levels of grief actually Hmm. so releasing that from the cells and the DNA structures there'd be more dolphin sounds but i guess that was all ocean and, and whales <laughs> it's just what comes right yeah it's, it just through came. the intention and... yeah how was that for you i was conscious i was very conscious because i've never done this so no, i was, I was yeah, conscious yeah. um <laughs> yeah it was good though mm. it was good what, what did was... it bring up for you um just i don't know i just it just i usually just allow it to mm. but i was a bit conscious so I'm probably i had maybe some blocks mm. um but it's um, unexpected it's unexpected but um i was i was more observing than feeling okay. rather mm. um so but from what i got um just like that lull just sort of like just get letting the the, the sound get, get the droning just just take me wherever i'm just as l- allowing as much as possible for it to to do what it needed to energetically with your intention mm. yeah I don't know about you but I feel a lot more like there's like, like there's a lull there's like a calm space. oh you're right you're right for sure there is I mean I've been needing that and s- you know I have in the past four because like I was saying how my Disney channel has has because of the Shanghai Disney videos have like gotten really crazy and I've spent a lot of time in the past four days uploading uploading tagging posting answering yeah. comments on top of uh, life you know and I'm gaming and I you know and then I'm planning for this episode and other episodes to come so there's a lot and then I'm, I have a musical that's coming up which I, I've never talked about hey, on the show nice. uh, so there are all these things going on I have another interview with an Imagineer who designed the Shanghai Disney Castle coming up it was supposed to be today but I had a wedding and then I, so there's a lot of things going on but you're right about and I've been asking for this 
lull that needed to happen and i didn't expect it to happen right now but it did so there you go and now you have it recorded yeah so you can play it anytime yeah awesome yeah Thank it you. felt it felt like it was more that and you notice that that actually happens like sometimes even beyond what we intend it's it's the deeper intentions that come about yeah yeah it's it's amazing guys i'm i'm seriously it's it's something that it's not magic or anything if you just put it out there as law of attraction it works even with the Imagineer, I, I, I thought to myself, where am I going to find a Disney Imagineer to interview about the Shanghai Park opening? And it happened. And it happened. <clears throat> and it happened. And I also, in my heart, I was like, well, if there's a way not to pay for the entrance to Shanghai, yeah. you know, I went, and then my friend offered who works there. So I'm getting in. Thanks to my friend. And then I also have another friend who's like, oh, come stay with me. So literally, three things. It's a miracle, but it's not. It's intention. It's intention. Yeah. And you're an example of that. Amazing. And hopefully, luckily, I would say luckily an example of that to show to you guys that it can happen to anyone. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. And again, thank you so much for having thank me you. on this. And uh, <laughs> this is, this is, it's interesting because it's similar for me. It's in a the reflection, sense that, right? Yeah. It's like, okay, because I've been asking what to do next and... Um, you know, and if I will share very shortly that, you know, things, I've been putting a, st a lot of stuff sort of off for corner. a while and I knew that, um, I needed to do more of this kind of work and I was sort of going like, in what way, you know, to do it and, you know, because, uh, and I wanted it to be more online. So this is like a wonderful opening to be able to kind of, in a way, sort of just start it, launch it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I guess I'll be doing more such things as well on Yay. online yeah looking forward to following you on it yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> and helping you out and and he's yeah he's actually helping me to set up whatever i need to the start for it so that's see, amazing a good i actually asked for that i was like i need a techie yeah, person to help me get started <laughs> and i'm hopefully i'll probably get hopefully someone to help me constantly uh in whatever way shape or form um, sending that out to the universe right now. So awesome! <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. Yay! 